G'day invaders and welcome to Sin Spaces and yes it's been a while I've been away for a bit big overseas trip a uh, bit of deja vu for some of you who regularly tune into the channel and I think you'll find that that's because I did the exact same thing about six months ago uh, well, back in uh, January it was actually I did the same trip uh, but more about that in a moment well uh, this is a video that I like to do once every month and it is a state of the uh, channel video for the month of September basically just addressing the top videos uh, what's happening with the channel and I can assure you that uh, I do have a lot to come on Synth Spaces so I might just get straight into the top five videos and then I can discuss what's happening with the channel um, including by the way a big announcement at the end of all this uh, a new project that I'll be taking on so uh, got my trusty little, little notes here starting off with my top five videos uh, number uh, number five was look back at the Sega Saturn that was my uh, follow-up video to Top Hat Gaming Man's uh, documentary I used the footage that I sent to him that, that didn't make it uh, to, onto his channel and I put it to use for a video of my own and uh, I think you guys should have a look at that if you don't know much about the Sega Saturn that's a good place to start it will give you a good overview of what that uh, system has to offer you um, it's sitting nicely tucked away here uh, ready for use for my channel um, also number four we've got World of Illusion Let's Play now this was a beta uh, a rare look at an incomplete version of the game that I guess not many people would have seen and that was thanks to uh, my trusty here it is uh, my disc interceptor unit which I've also got a video on as well so this was a disc machine that you can use on the Sega Mega Drive uh, and I've happened to have kept for the last 25 years or so that disc which contained the beta which was pretty cool it still works uh, number three on the list was a look at the Shenmue real-life location in near Yokohama Yokosuka and uh, that video continues to get uh, a lot of hits and uh, I hope it gets a lot more I didn't get a chance to get anywhere near Yokosuka this time around um, I'll explain a bit about that in a moment uh, number two was the Mega Drive compact unboxing that's this guy I don't know if you can see that yep there it is uh, that's the Mega Drive compact uh, repro console that I picked up while in Yokosuka actually funnily enough um, I tried getting a Famicom Mini that didn't happen that came later I've, I've actually got that sitting right here uh, if you've got any questions about the Famicom Mini I have a video on that as well on the channel but uh, instead of walking away from Japan with a Famicom Mini I ended up with a compact Mega Drive figure that out uh, also the number one video for the month of August was the look at the <laughs> rather shifty dodgy Mega Drive Mega Disk Interceptor this thing here uh, converts cartridges to disk uh, it allowed me to gain an access to a library of games that I would not have even had a look at beforehand if it wasn't for this device um, quite it's just something that not many people know even existed um, which is pretty cool and there are better models out there but this is the one that I got when back in the day and uh, I'm just glad that I got it because I've got a stack of games that I got access to and I will put some of those uh, on the channel later on if I get time times the biggest <laughs> uh, time is the biggest uh, enemy for my channel to be honest uh, so in regards to where I've been for the last month well I uh, did a trip to three countries this time around same as back in January uh, we went to Japan uh, to Osaka that was the first big stop and uh, we went via South Korea so it was a stopover and then we went to Osaka we spent about four days in Osaka it was summer there so it was pretty hot um, but I managed to get to uh, find a lot of good retro stores Sega disappointed me uh, I went to Club Sega the arcade uh, outlet and I'm sorry but Sega Japan 
they've lost the plot. The, the Sega of Japan just do not seem to know what Sega represents for the rest of the world. They're doing their own thing and uh, it's just really sad when you go into the Club Sega arcades, machines, uh, centers and you don't see any single sort of acknowledgement or throwbacks to the uh, gr grand past of Sega. Um, there's just really little in except for the odd uh, Sonic the Hedgehog logo here and there and Tails and that's about it. Um, I really do get quite upset actually. I went uh, when I see what's happening with Sega in Japan. I saw uh, Sega Joypolis which I was really excited to see and I couldn't wait. I was just so disappointed. It was just re it was just such a huge letdown for me personally. If you've been to uh, any of the Joypolis outlets in Japan and you liked it, please let me know what your experience was like. But me personally, I just did not enjoy it. I just thought it was just such a huge letdown and uh, that might be for another video another time. Uh, then we went to uh, Korea, South Korea. We spent uh, a couple of days in Seoul. Then we flew back to uh, onto China to visit my uh, wife's family there. That wasn't so exciting, except I did manage to pick up Skyrim on PC while I was there to kill some time while I was waiting for them to take care of family matters. Uh, and then we flew back to Hokkaido. Now Hokkaido is the North Island, the furthest most North Island of Japan. And uh, that was a pretty cool little trip there. We actually drove all around the whole island slightly bigger than Tasmania here in Australia um, but with way more population if that makes sense um, but uh, it's such a quiet part of Japan you, you drive for miles and you don't see any cars on the road it's actually quite cool in that way so it's a different part of uh, Japan than what most people get to experience we got to see bears I'll put the little uh, footage up there uh, we got to see bears in the wild and uh, that was quite cool. They were just down doing their own little thing in the waters below. We saw a stack of cars illegally parked for what the hell's going on. I pulled over, had a look, and yeah, bears. And I was able to get the footage for the bears thanks to this new Fandangle camera I've got here. Um, it's got, I think it's 90 times zoom, which my old camera only had 25 times zoom. So there's no way I would have got this footage without this awesome new camera that I've got. This camera also has a, a nifty little new feature, which you'll see uh, later on in videos uh, later. I won't go too much into it now, but uh, it's a pretty cool feature that will be unique to my channel. And you won't see my, uh, on any other channel, I think. I've never seen other people posting videos that do what this video camera can do. Uh, that's going to be a surprise. <laughs> and so with the channel, uh, we've got quite a, few, um, quite a few videos coming up. Uh, including, I think the one that most people will be curious about will be my pickups in Japan. I'm not going to go too much into what I did get in Japan, I'll leave that for that video. Um, but the, the highlight is a new GameCube in the box, unopened. That's right, this boy has not been touched. Um, and it's also with the Game, uh, Game Boy Advance player as well. Um, I've actually already got a GameCube, same color. I was kind of sad that I didn't manage to pick up a different color unit. I've got another silver one now to join my collection. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that in the next video coming up. Uh, also uh, for the channel, I've got uh, a video of my nephew, my Japanese nephew. I promised you a little while back that I was going to show you uh, his collection and inside his room. He was very shy. So I was only able to manage to record his actual collection and I had to be very careful uh, in what I filmed. He didn't want anything except the games filmed. So I had to try and respect that and he didn't appear on camera. Um, a bit disappointing that he can't come out of his shell and, and try to smile and wave at the camera. But I guess some people are not as uh, uh, <laughs> unbashful as I am. Also, I will show you the inside of the Pokemon Center in uh, Hakai, um, no, in Osaka. Sorry, I'm getting my cities all messed up. 
Uh, the Pokemon Center in uh, in Osaka, that was pretty spectacular actually. And uh, I'll do a video and also show you what swag I got from there. And also uh, a look at Super Potato Store, um, not Akihabara. I did that video uh, from 2011 visit. Fast forward to 2017 and I visited their Osaka um, store. So that's uh, something that is coming up on the channel soon. Um, now I have uh, a bit of an announcement to make but before I do that I just want to mention that I'll be doing a podcast tomorrow uh, with Wacko Jacko Gaming. Um, hopefully that works out and I also plan to make podcasts a regular thing on the channel once a month. Um, I'll try and grab whatever guests I can get. There's a couple guys that I do want to get on the channel. Uh, it's just a matter of them being available for the for the time slot that I have allocated to do these podcasts. Um, if you have a channel and you want to uh, appear on one of my podcasts, um, I still haven't even come up with a name for it. So I will work out a, a funky name for the podcast. But uh, if you're interested, please message me and we'll see if we can get something organized. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the big project that I've got coming up now... I'm an old gamer, old school gamer, old and old school, um, <laughs> and so I've seen my fair share of games in my life, more so than probably most people have ever seen, uh, and so to kind of celebrate that rather than get dis disappointed and depressed at the fact that I'm old, um, to embrace and celebrate that, I'm going to start up a new series, it's going to be called My Life in Gaming, now that sounds pretty boring doesn't it, My Life in Gaming. But here's the thing, uh, I will do uh, a l game of the year for every year of my life. A game of the year for every year of my life. So I will feature three games that I think will be the candidates for the, for the game of the year. And then I'll reveal at the end of the video what the winner was for that year. Starting with, giving away my age here, 1974. That's going to be a challenge, if finding three games full stop for 1974, but I will do it. Uh, so that's going to be uh, my ongoing project, along with my continued look at the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection for the Xbox 360. That's still continuing. Uh, and also, um, yeah, this new series, uh, My Life in Gaming, I intend to get started with that because... Uh, I think it's interesting to look back at the years of gaming gone by and see what the big guns of gaming were uh, throughout my lifetime. And that includes arcade and also console, It's not or PC. It's not just restricted to uh, consoles. I guess with 1974 that would be a bit of a, a tough ask to go pong, I guess would be the winner. <laughs> um, also, just to finish off, because this has gone on for a fair bit, uh, I've picked up 79 subscribers, and I want to thank every one of you. 79 new invaders. Uh, I've reached the 500 mark, which is awesome, and I continue to want to push on to the 1,000 mark. That's my first goal. Uh, and also, I've picked up uh, 151 followers on Twitter. So I'll leave a link there. You can see I've got quite a few Twitter followers over 1,600, but I want to get that to push push on for more. Um, and I've started a Patreon page. So you'll find a link in the description box below. Um, if you feel like becoming a patron, you'll get your name mentioned at the end of every video. I have a couple of tiers there that I've just started off. $1 a month, $5 a month. Um, I'm just still sussing patron out so if you want to get started on becoming a patron and have your name mentioned at the end of every my every one of my videos um that's on offer too so be uh also in, in keep in mind i should say that uh that patreon page will be used as my um uh, main hub for news updates etc i will make that my blog site so that's another added bonus for you to have a look at the patreon page and uh, check out what's happening with my channel. Um, that's been my wrap for the month. Um, I've got quite a busy few days ahead of me with videoing here, and I hope you guys hang around to see all that. In the meantime, my name has been Brian, and I've been gaming since Spacey's. Thanks, guys.